Hello, it's your boy Davlos. So I got a thing on this channel called Movie Monday where I watch movies and talk about them and this week's Movie Monday was Rambo. I watched the four movies and talked about them. It's up on my channel. You can check it out if you want. Leading up to Last Blood, obviously. And recently, like just now, I watched Rambo Last Blood and it was brutal, to say the least. It's probably the most detailed. Actually, no, probably Rambo 4 was pretty detailed. So this one, I guess, is around the same. That one had a bit more... A bit more blood, a, a, a lot more injury, but that was in a war zone. This is a lot more like, it's, it's a lot more low scale than Rambo Last Blood, but I think Rambo 4 was the most brutal one. But this one's still very, very brutal, it's very detailed. It's an 18 in this country as well, like if you didn't know, R rated movies for the most part are 15s in the UK. 15 and above, 15 and above can see it's like Logan, um, anything that's R rated, like 80% of them are 15s in this country, but for it to be 18 rated, it has to be really bad, like really hardcore. And this one was an 18, this was brutal. I, I was looking forward to it because from Rambo, you want brutal, that's, that's who Rambo is. You want brutality, that is what you want from Rambo movies. That is what should happen in Rambo movies because he is a guy who is, he's a guy who's been broken by war. Um, he's been tormented. Um, he's, he has nightmares and uh, even, even when he tries to get out of the fight he always gets drawn back in and it's a very tragic story, it has been for the whole franchise really and this is more of the same but it's with more elements to it so he has a niece so Ram at, at the end of Rambo 4 he comes back home and he has a niece there and um, I'm not going to say why but she has to go to Mexico and it will be a spoiler I think because it's not in trailers but she has to go to Mexico to do something but it's a dangerous thing and Rambo tells her not to go, but then she gets caught up, she gets kidnapped, and Rambo has to go to Mexico to go and get her, basically. That's what the movie is, but he gets caught up in, in sex tra trafficking, amongst other things. It's, re it's a really brutal storyline, not just for action, but also for, like, sexual stuff as well. Um, there, there's a bit of that in there. Um, it's, it's very dark. It's a very serious, maybe the darkest movie. Not the most brutal, maybe. Rambo 4 was that. But it's a very, very dark movie. It's not about a war, it's about a cartel essentially, I think. I think a cartel, is that the right word? They're a gang. They're a gang in Mexico that, 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 that traffic people. And um, Rambo's niece gets caught up in it. She gets caught up and Rambo has to go and try and save her. And this story is very tragic and um, the action is very brutal. And there's a lot of sad things that happen. There's a lot of just very very gory detailed things i mean you see bones getting snapped out of bodies you see spikes you see a lot of booby traps and that's the best part of the movie for me there's a part of the movie where there's a bunch of mercenaries not mercenaries but there's a big gang with machine guns going to attack rambo and um they go and hunt him but they become the hunted and i love scenes like that i love scenes where people go hunting someone and they become the hunted. They get picked off one by one. I love those types of scenes. I want to see a Batman scene like that. I've always been wanting an R-rated Batman movie with that sort of scene in it. And with Rambo, like even in First Bloods, like he had that scene in the forest with the cops. Those sort of scenes where he's picking people off one by one. Those are great scenes. Those are really good scenes to watch. And they're very interesting and I, I love how brutal they are and in this one it's very brutal and for me it's the best part of the movie the part of the movie where they're coming for him and he's got to set traps and for me that's the best part of the movie by far that is it's, it's crazy it's, it's it's so good to watch and it's it's brilliant um, and uh, yeah I love the brutal action in it I love the action parts of this movie uh, not so much the uh, tragic parts of it there are certain things that are just Sometimes a little too much. They don't, they don't show like insane detail for certain things. Um, it's not as bad as some people might make out, um, but it is. It is pretty dark. It's not for the light-hearted. That's all I'm gonna say. Like, especially in 2019, I think some might be offended by this movie, uh, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, Rambo movies have got to be. They need to be brutal, obviously. This one was brutal in more ways than one. It wasn't just about action. It was other things as well. It's a very sad and 
I said brutal like 24 times in this video, I'm sorry, but that's just what the movie is. It's brutal. It's a brutal movie with some brutal action, some detailed action, and people die in very crazy ways. Very crazy ways. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it may be the most hardcore movie I watched this year, for sure. Um, it's definitely up there anyway. Not the best movie. Best Rambo movie? Nope. Nope, it is not the best Rambo movie. Not even close. But as an action movie, I think it's more than good enough. I think it's a, a very dark movie that, for what it is, sort of works. It's not an amazing script. It's not, it's not like some amazing masterpiece you're gonna see. It's just an action movie that's a bit more brutal than you would expect. But it's meant to be brutal because it's a Rambo. It's about a guy who's traumatized by war who's pulled, pulled back into a fight. That's like every movie really. In every movie he's back from a war and he's pulled back into the fight. That's just, it's a tragic storyline and um, this is more of the same, just with like an extra element to it. This time it's because of his knees. It's not because of someone asking for a mission. You know, it's, it's a different thing. Um, but yeah, that's all I got to say really. It's just a simple movie that's like mindless action and it's, Brutal. Brutal is the, the right term for this review, really. So yeah, as an action movie, a 7.5 out of 10, I think. Yeah, I think, I think that's a good rating. I think that's a good rating. 7.5 out of 10. It's not an amazing action movie, not the best Rambo movie, but it was at least good for Rambo. Um, but it's not like a masterpiece. That's all I gotta say. And there are some parts that might be too much for you. Even if you like brutality, there's some parts that might be like, a little too dark. Some some past movies are a little too dark. That's that's all I gotta say. But yeah, um, judge for yourself. But I recommend if you're if you're an action movie fan, go and see. If you're a fan of Rambo, definitely go and see it. If you're not a fan of Rambo action movies, then you know it's really, it's really up to up to you really. Um, but I don't see why you'd watch it if you're not into action movies. But if you're into action movies, then I feel it's a must watch as long as you're old enough to watch it. This was your boy David. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.